Today we're going to talk about getting out of our comfort zone, we drivers, so that we can create an amazing life. You know, Uber recently re did some research and said that over half the drivers aim to start a new business within the next five years. So in this video, we're going to look at what's required in order to actually do that. How do you get out of your comfort zone? And stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to share with you what I think is the number one uh, trick or technique to, uh, to get out of your comfort zone and produce real results. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today, sadly, is my last day in Bogota, Colombia. The food here has been amazing. I've loved every bit of it. And uh, this might be my last cup of uh, Cafe Con Leche. <laughs> it's really good. Most of us rideshare drivers at our hearts were entrepreneurs. We are attracted to being a rideshare driver because it's our own little business. We don't have a boss, we can set our own schedules. It gives us a lot of freedom and flexibility. But if you're like me, and apparently about half the, half the drivers out on the road, we share the same sentiment as Anthony Bourdain, which he expressed at the beginning of his No Reservation shows, where he says, and I'm hungry for more. So the, the trouble is, the challenge is that being a rideshare driver is a pretty great gig, right? We drive, we provide a valuable service, people like what we do. We get paid pretty well, not, out, not amazing pay, but enough, you know, pretty good. And we can do what we want to do. Heck, here I am in Bogota, right? Talking to you guys. And on Sunday, I'm back in America. And on Monday, I'm going to start working again. And next week, I'm going to book another $2,500 in my bank. So that's awesome. But I want more. And apparently, half of us out there want more. And what I'm going to share with you now are four things that I think you can do right away to move out of your comfort zone and move you towards whatever it is that you want to achieve. So the first thing you can do is figure out why you want to do it, right? What's your reason? And for many of us, and for me, it's like you have a big goal. You have a big dream. You have a big vision. My personal goal, kind of my overall goal in my life, is to travel to 100 countries before I die. So in order to do that, I got to put a lot of things together uh, so that I'm able to accomplish that. But, you know, I've got on my computer screen pictures of trips I've taken. Um, I'm very, you want to be very clear, very crystal clear. Like uh, Tom Cruise said in the movie, crystal. You want to be crystal clear. Second thing you can do is find other people who are doing exactly what it is that you want to do. So in my case, yeah, I can find a lot of people who have built businesses on the internet, which have allowed them the flexibility and the freedom to do a lot of traveling. You want to immerse yourself in their world and make it your world. Sign up for their newsletters. Um, follow them on Instagram, um, Facebook, you know, buy their books. Uh, get any chance you can, check them out on YouTube, see if they've given talks. All of these things will start to make it more real and it will engage you further in pursuing your goal. Third thing you can do is make a plan and be as specific as possible. Make a plan for what you want to create from the beginning to the end as best you can and then find somebody who's in your business and share it with them and get some feedback and then fine tune your plan. You want to have very specific step to, steps that you can take. And the fourth and the most difficult is take action, right? Taking action is the, the hardest step because you're breaking out of, the, out of the resistance, you're pushing past the stress, you're pushing past your anxiousness, your fears, your concerns. Uh, perhaps people are telling you you can't do it and take action. Now, I'll tell you one thing. One guy who can be your hero, he's my hero, is Harry the Rideshare Guy. This is a guy who had an idea, right? He was an engineer, right? Working his nine to five job, made his nice little salary, had his two weeks of vacation, and uh, you know, everything was chugging along, but he wanted more, right? This concept keeps coming up, we want more. So what did he do? He started diddling around on the internet, started doing some blogging. Then came along Uber and Lyft, and he put the two together, and boom, he went for it. He created the Rideshare Guy blog, the YouTube channel, the podcast. Now he's got a team of writers. He's got a professional editor who works for him. And this is all, this is a whole business and it's a very profitable, lucrative business. So he went way beyond his comfort zone and created this thing. One of the reasons, one of the main reasons that we all kind of aspire to be comfortable and we find that a great place to be is because we're surrounded by advertisements. We're surrounded by Instagram photos. We're surrounded by Facebook. And we just kind of get are immersed in people having these comfortable experiences. I'm showing you right now uh, uh, 
uh, something I got saw in my Instagram photo just uh, this just this morning, right? But here's the thing. Here's the one thing I wanted to share with you, and this is the one tip or technique I recommend is stop looking at all that stuff. Okay, people who are out there creating businesses and doing things aren't spending a lot of time watching Instagram and Facebook and like that. If you got to do it, give yourself like I only give myself like 20 minutes in the morning, and that's it, and then I'm off. And the rest of the day I'm out doing my thing, right? So it's kind of like a, a hiatus. Take a hiatus from all that social media and I think that will really help you a lot to strengthen you to go out and take the action that you need to take. So in summary, go for it. That's all I can say, go for it. Uh, Uber says half the people who are driving want to be uh, business owners and if, you, if that's you, right? And you don't want to be like the 95% that don't do anything, just uh, do it. It's really just doing it. It works if you just do it. Most people don't do it, and that's why so many people fail. They just give up. So everybody, you go out and have a great day. Thanks for watching. This is Jay with The Rideshare Guy. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, go for it. It's great. You're going to learn a lot of great stuff. Have a great day. Be safe out there. So long.